There are questions tonight about how a Grand Rapids woman was able to rip off dozens of subsidized housing tenants. The former employee of the Grand Rapids Housing Commission pleaded guilty to stealing residents' rent payments. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples was tipped off to this case and sat down with one of the victims. Susan. Kent County prosecutors charged 52-year-old Esther Cecilia McMurray with embezzlement in 2019, but the case has dragged on because of COVID-19 delays, and now McMurray is fighting the $20,000 in restitution she was ordered to pay. And it was a scheduled hearing over that restitution that brought one of the victims to court today. In a Kent County courtroom today, Tashiana Walton was nervous. She hadn't faced Esther McMurray since the former Housing Commission employee stole several of Walton's hard-earned rent payments back in 2019. Very, very hard. It was very, very hard to deal with it. Very, very hard. That's because Walton, a single mom, says she was forced to go to court again and again when records showed she was behind on rent she knew she had already paid for her subsidized apartment at Camp Al Commons on South Division. I felt like they should have listened to me when I kept telling them, hey, is something wrong? Um, I did pay you my money order. This is 250 Fortunately, Walton had the stamped money order stubs to prove she had turned them in at the Camp Al Commons office to Esther McMurray, who, according to prosecutors, stole money orders and rent checks from 20 to 30 residents over a three and a half year period. It took them a long time to really figure out that she was doing this. Exactly how long the Housing Commission could not tell us today. We tried to question McMurray herself in the courthouse hallway until her defense attorney stepped in. You're not going to tell me why you took that money. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't comment. Her, please, thank you. Yep. Did I ask any questions? Thank you. I'm very unsettled and troubled. County Commissioner and radio personality Robert S., who's also related to Walton, demanded the resident victims get full reimbursement accountability, policy changes to make sure it will never happen again. In the end, today's restitution hearing was postponed yet again. That means another trip to the courthouse for Walton, who says her struggle to provide for her daughter was made that much harder by McMurray's crimes. Because I'm like, I don't have money to make sure our clothes is getting washed. I didn't have money to make sure my daughter had shoes for school. Walton says she and her daughter, who are still living at Camp Al Commons, are in a better position now. The new head of the Housing Commission told me today they did make residents whole, she said, and changed procedures to prevent this from happening again. Esther McMurray was sentenced to two days in jail, five years probation, and that 20 grand in restitution, which she's fighting because she says she paid some of what she stole back.